All right, Mr. Bandit. What do you have to say for yourself? Huh? Why are you chilling at my cage? I got him red-handed in the collar. Ah, get out of there, Marla. Get out. You're going to tear up my plants. Get out. Back up. YouTube, Facebook, everybody. All right, me and Marley right here, my compadre, my squirrel hunting compadre. He's got one treed right now. We got one. I got another criminal. He uh, was he was in my dog on collards. Check it out. All this criminal. I got him right here. He doesn't like my trap, but I caught him red-handed. I got gotcha. you. In my collards. I got gotcha. you. I got him red-handed in the collar. Ah, get out of there, Marla. Get out. You're going to tear up my plants. Get out. Back up. Sit. <laughs> Sit down, Marley. Sit. Sit. You can't eat him. Uh-uh. Stay. 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 Marley. Ah, come on. I'll put you back inside. Come on. You got to go back inside. Come on. Marley doesn't like to listen. He's trying to kill my squirrel. Come on. I know, I know you want him. I know you want him, but can't tear my trap up. My compadre went crazy on me. All right, go back inside. Gotta put him up. He did his job. He did his tour of duty. All right, so if you've been following my YouTube channel, my garden here has been marauded and vandalized by these dudes that live in this tree right here. So I, I trapped and located like I trapped and relocated like probably like five of these bad boys, which you've seen on this channel. And they were all caught right here in these greens. So this dude, I came outside last night and I saw a rat go along the side of the, along the privacy fence. So I was like, I gotta set out my traps again. So I set them out. That one got tripped and he got out. And then this dude got caught. So since I've tried to re relocate them, I've tried to do the right thing. This guy's getting cooked. So in this episode, we're doing a catch and cook, literally, squirrel. Because you know why? He's a nuisance animal. And I caught him in my garden. And they're getting in the attic. So I gotta do something with them. I've relocated half these dudes and they seem to come back. All right, Mr. Bandit. What do you have to say for yourself? Huh? Why are you chilling at my cage? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. I know you're fired up, all right, but you're on my collar. That's a hefty one right there. That's a hefty one. All right, guys, so I got trap number two set up right here. I just reset it because some little dude ate all the peanut butter last night. Let me show you what I got going on here. All right, so this is just a little bitty vermin trap here got peanut butter right there and this is my lettuce patch i got some collards there and my jalapenos this is the location that all these dudes live in so you know this is what it is so my problem is you might be wondering why don't i just shoot him with a pellet gun hey i can knock him off that fence all day long from right here but there's a house right there and i can't quite do that guys because you know what that's kind of illegal and dangerous but my, my Air Master 77 would do, uh, totally do that. That's like 25 feet. But we got to do it the right way, guys. We got to do it without launching projectiles. I even thought about my slingshot, but still, same thing. We got, uh, we got some people living back there. So we're doing it the uh, humane way. So see you guys in a bit. We got to wrestle this guy up. And hopefully you get one more because we only need two or three to do a real um, a real squirrel dinner. Literally, guys, while I was standing here, like, resetting my camera, a squirrel just went in that trap and set it off and got out. One right there. There's the culprit right there. See him? See him right there? There's the culprit. There's my, there's my proof, guys. Right there. Can't believe it. Right there. Trap all camoed up look right here see that hole 
See that hole? I just fixed that hole. Always a, there's another one over there too. Literally dug that whole bed up and replanted it like maybe a week ago. And they've already dug a hole back through it. I'm showing you what the rodents are doing to me. It's full out war, guys. All right, guys, so I'm gonna describe the process here. I just dispatched him with my little BB gun, little Air Master, in a safe and secure and proper way, humanely. Check your nuisance laws because this little guy is totally a nuisance and so are these rats and these squirrels. All right guys, so check your nuisance laws to make sure you can trap and kill these guys. It is squirrel season and I've literally tried everything to get rid of these guys and I can't get rid of them. So the only thing to do, I've even tried re relocating them. I've tried everything, so I gotta dispatch them. And while I was standing here, two were standing on the trap. So like they're in my collars, they're in my turnips. So we gotta take care of business. So just dispatched him. Now I'm gonna take him inside, clean him, put him in the refrigerator, and uh, let Samantha do her magic with it. I'm gonna try to catch another one. So if I can get two, I think we'll have enough to do a cool video. Hopefully this guy's dead because these little suckers can be mean. He'll eat you up. All right, guys, I got him. Squirrels from the garden. So I got to clean my squirrel here. All right, and I got me a set of gloves right here. And these are good things to pick up. Like just get them from the drugstore. They're cheap and it keeps your hands from smelling like squirrel all day. And if he's got any little critters on him that you don't have to worry about it as much. Yeah, so there's a lot of different ways to skin a squirrel. However, the ways you want to do it is fine with me. I usually just go around the legs. Y'all gonna make fun of me wearing these gloves, but you know, work smarter, not harder. Well, if I can get, get my hands in these bad boys. I don't want to have squirrel in between my fingernails. That's better. All right, got one on. These things come in like box, a box of like 50, so once you got them, you got them. Even though they won't come out, so. Also helps on deer, too, because you just don't have to deal with hands stinking and getting all messy. They're cheap guys, they're cheap. I'm using one of Samantha's little fillet knives. You know, it is what it is. Always check twice, make sure this bad boy's not, not still alive, all right? Literally, these guys will bite completely through your hand. So around the legs, I just go like around the legs, around the feet, usually cut right here and then pull it apart like you're just pulling him out of a jacket, gut him, rock and roll. Just like you're skinning a deer but a little one. Also, you really, I've always heard that you shouldn't eat squirrels unless you've had a, a cold frost. Well, we kind of had one the other day. So, just taking a chance on it. If you know anything about that, comment down below. Any uh, weird, you know, legends about when you're supposed to eat these guys and when you're not. So, see, I'm just taking the legs off like a coat. Cut the tail off. There's probably way better videos on this on YouTube, so check those out. Just uh, skin them the best way you can without tearing out the meat. Oh, and don't puncture the bladder uh, on these guys because that's just no bueno. I'm willing to bet by this afternoon I'll have me another one in that trap out there. That little bad boy is spot on. He's locked in. So once you get it going, just pull the coat off. Yard squirrels are fat. Because the BB. So you just take the... Uh, Take him right out of the sleeves, break the feet, and they pop right out. See, hand just popped out, sleeve comes off. Try not to get my shirt dirty. Then just cut him right here, down the center, right here, and get the insides out, throw it away, put him in a Ziploc bag. All right, see he's all clean. I'm just putting them in a gallon Ziploc bag, that way I can keep adding to. A couple days, I'll have enough squirrels. So this is the finished product right here. Flip him over. Looks like a little, little chicken. See, just looks like a little chicken. Stick him in here. Just seal him up. And we got almost enough for dinner. I bet you'll have another one by this afternoon in that trap. One of those traps. And these really save you. Stow them away. And the cool thing is I didn't even get my shirt dirty. <laughs> Marley's ready to get another one, aren't you Marley? He gets excited. All right, guys, I got another one. I got, oh, hold on. All right, guys, looks like I got another squirrel. I'm pretty pumped about this. 
That makes two. We got enough for dumplings. This is gonna be catch and cook squirrel dumplings. Yeah, <laughs> got him. Check that one out. Marley's feeling all alone and left out. But I got him. All right, Marley, we got another one. We got another one. We got a victim. He's all ready for the grill, Marley. All right, guys, so I got the squirrel in the sink. Check it out. Squirrel's in the sink. We gotta clean him right quick. Samantha is right here. Hello. <laughs> she's, she, she's getting used to these adventures of me bringing random stuff in here for her to cook, but it keeps yeah. her on her toes. That's right. Squirrel dumplings tonight. Never have made home homemade uh, dumplings. Yeah, yeah, homemade squirrel dumplings. Yeah. So I'm keeping her on her cooking toes. Are those, is that a, such a thing, cooking toes? Yeah. You can cook a toe and you can keep your cooking toes. <laughs> so that three times fast. Marley is excited about the squirrels. He he's wants like, it. It's like the most adventure he's had in a long time. And he's 11, so. He's got blood on his nose. Well, he did get in a little fight in the cage, you know. Did it scratch him? No. Yeah. Oh. All right, Samantha, so what are we doing right. here? Well, while I was waiting on Jack, I went ahead and started making the stew. So we have one squirrel from earlier this morning. Now he's getting cooked up pretty good. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just waiting on number two. But we have chicken stock, some milk in here, uh, two chicken bouillon cubes and a can of cream of chicken uh, going in right there. So we'll see how it tastes. Salt, pepper, and that's it right now. Hopefully I, I do Jack's mom right. This is not her recipe, but she would be proud I'm making this tonight. <laughs> Marla's proud too. All right, so I just put the second squirrel in there, right there. There's two. One, two squirrels. Alright guys, so it's the next step in the process. Uh, Samantha is going to walk you over it. Okay guys, so we just took the first squirrel out of the pot of boiling liquid. Liquid? Chicken stock and the seasonings. <laughs> so here's the squirrel. Looks like a good squirrel. It's so a yard squirrel. All I'm going to do is start shredding him up and then putting him back in the pot. By that time, the second squirrel should be ready to come out. So in the meantime, I made the biscuit dough. So I didn't actually make the biscuit dough from scratch. I know earlier I said I was gonna make homemade squirrel dumplings. So while the squirrel has been cooking, I made the dumplings. I did not make them homemade. Like I said earlier, I used Bisquick because um, it was a time saver. So all I did was follow the directions at the bottom. So two thirds cup of Bisquick and three tablespoons of milk. And I got these dumplings. So once the second squirrel is done and shredded and back in there, I'll put the dumplings in. It doesn't look like that much, so I might have to make a second batch. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's gonna fill me up. Yeah, okay. So we'll make a second batch. What are you doing, Samantha? Picking the meat off the squirrel. Jack's doing the second squirrel, not me. All right, drop in the uh, dumpling batter into the pot. And she's making me stir at the same time. Have to give Jack a job. <laughs> Multitasking, filming and stirring. At this point in my squirrel dumpling cooking career, I think you need three squirrels. But we're doing it with two. We're just adding more dumplings, huh? So, it tastes good. I just snuck a, a taste of it. It tastes like sweet chicken, but it's squirrel. So it's it sweet. It tastes like dark meat chicken. Yeah, like sweet like dark meat chicken. chicken. So, recipe's coming right along. All right, Samantha, what are we doing with the half and half and the almond milk? We are just going to make the dumplings. So two thirds bis bisquick and then three tablespoons of, it says milk, but I kind of do a mixture of it because I ran out of real milk. So almond milk. 
And then we're gonna chop up a jalapeno in half and put it in the chicken and dumplings or squirrel dumplings to give it a little bite. So I wasn't gonna do the jalapeno in it, but then I, we had a bunch of them over there on the table from our garden and I was like, ooh, jalapeno. Put a little zest on your plate, you know? I thought it might be interesting. We usually put like half of one in our collars, which makes it amazing too. So having a jalapeno plant out there in the garden at all times is a must. Okay, so I know you guys are gonna give me shit on the comments for using Bisquick as my dumplings. Normally, we use Mrs. B's uh, dumpling strips. They're locally made here and you can get them at Publix. I'm sure she uh, sells them other places, but they are the best dumpling strips you can buy. I'll show you what the biscuit bag looks like and it looks exactly like the biscuit bag, but it's dumplings. So it's not Mrs. B's, it's Mary B's. So this, these are the biscuits, best biscuits I've ever had that are frozen. But the dumplings look exactly like this, but uh, strips of dumplings. Mm. So if you need a shortcut and you don't want to make them from scratch or Bisquick, definitely try these. All right, we got some biscuits that are freshly cooked, a little overdone. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey man, you're the first batch. Looks good. Looks good. It looks good, it smells good. It's gotta be good. Check it out. See, woo, look at the aroma. It's aroma mean, or however you say that. Aroma mean? Yeah, it's got the aroma. I don't think aroma mean is a word. That's really funny. All right, taste it, Samantha. You don't have a piece of meat on your spoon. Oh. Uh, Real good. Pretty amazing. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's real good. I like squirrel meat. I like chicken and it tastes just like chicken. The jalapeno adds a little extra zest, a little goodness to it. It doesn't make it spicy though. No, it's not spicy. It's it's like a background yeah, flavor. It's like a chicken and dumplings, a little sweeter with a little burnt from the jalapeno. A little like body to it. Oh, bang. I'm not a good at describing this kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm just that. winging it. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah, we got to go eat this stuff and watch Shameless. So don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Comment down below if you've had squirrel dumplings because they're pretty amazing. And we're going to definitely do this again, especially when they come from the garden. Bye.